Let's look at this equation. y equals 1 half x. What value should I start with? Hmm. This should be y equals mx plus b, and I always plot my b value first. There's nothing written there. So what number is implied? That's right. I essentially have the equation y equals 1 half x plus 0. So that means I'm going to start with a b value of 0, meaning we stay at the origin. So let's look at our coordinate axes. I'm going to start here at 0, the origin. And now I look at my rise over run. I need to go up 1 and to the right 2. Up 1, 1, 2 to the right. Take my straight edge and create a wonderful straight line. Let's look at this one. y equals negative 3 fourths x. What value should we start with? Yeah, I need to remember that there's an invisible zero there. And this is my b value, so I'm going to start at zero, the origin. Now what should I do? Yeah, the negative three says to go down, the positive four says to go to the right. So from the existing point, I'm going to go down one, two, three, the right, one, two, three, four. Take my straight edge create a nice clean line. Let's graph the equation y equals 2x. What value should I start with? Recall this should be written in y equals mx plus b form and we always start with the b. What is my b value? That's right. My b value is an implied 0. So I should start from 0, the origin. Now how about my slope? That's right. The slope says we should go up 2 and to the right 1. Up 1, 2, to the right 1. We'll take our nice straight edge, line everything up, and make a nice clean line. Let's graph the equation y equals negative 4x. What value should we start from? That's right, there's an implied 0 in this equation. So we should start from the origin. And according to our slope, we're going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 1. Remember, I can make any whole number a fraction by putting it over 1, and I need to make a straight line with my straight edge.